Hello, hello, hello. Guess what we have? We have some new collage pages. Woo, 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 woo. So, the bundle. Now, I'm just going to tell you, I recommend the bundle. Because the bundle, you're going to save some money. And who doesn't like to save money? So, you get, they don't come in these little folders. This is how I print them off. <laughs> there are four sets. There's a ancient language, which is orange and turquoise and there's a abstract set which is hot <laughs> there's a neutral set right and then there's a background set that just has some of the most yummy backgrounds so if you want to see more details i'm going to do a slow flip through but i wanted you to know that there are some new collage papers and um, I'm just excited to release them and I have a I have a bonus if you have already purchased the but the previous bundle the African textiles bundle you get an extra discount so I'm gonna make a coupon code there'll be a coupon there'll be a coupon code for my bundle people my bundle peeps who um, previously participated or purchase the last bundle you'll get an even steeper discount on this bundle so go ahead hit that buy button <laughs> uh, anyway it's been real hope you enjoy it I know you guys have been asking me about Rachel how how can we get some of those um, backgrounds and some of the ancient language collection and so I have released them just for you to create art with thank you for everyone who sent me their um, or tagged me in their creations from the African textile set oh that is just a blessing to see how you use them um, please continue to tag me when you make um, creations with the new set all right thank you bye bye hello 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 so we are looking at my new collage papers and this set is called the series is called ancient language if you remember from my feed I did this set last year as originals and most of the originals I've actually already sold and they have happy homes somewhere and we made these originals into scarves and curtains and wall art all kinds of stuff but I know people wanted um, in our art journaling in um, collage and card making and scrapbooking space also wanted to be able to use the pages in their um, in their art and so I um, took a little while <laughs> but I have scan them all and, and made them into collage elements and so here we go we won't we'll further about do we'll um, if you go onto the teachable site and that is uh, soulrainacademy.com it should be in the description box but if you go to the site um, there is a preview for each bundle but I will tell you that honestly the best deal is to get the bundle um, because if you get the bundle you save I don't know I don't know where you save some money I think you save like four dollars or something like that but if you got the bundle from the um, if you got the bundle previously the, from the African textiles, you actually get buy three sets and get a set free. So you'll save five dollars. But look for an email from me with that code um, before you purchase. But okay, let's get let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. Right. So this is the orange and turquoise set. And there are 12 pages. I've already made a project <laughs> using some of them. So that's why you see them. some of them already cut up. I can't show it to you because it's actually a class that I'm, um, I'm, I'm doing on someone else's platform. So I can't show you the, that project. But nevertheless, just know that I've already used it. And so what you, there are pieces missing here. But if you go onto the Teachable site, you will see... Um, me flip through them when they're whole all right so this is my favorite one of my favorites this is called sacred parts um, if you'll notice what I did was I honed in on pieces of the of the bigger picture and so like here I'm actually missing a whole a whole piece 
from that one. I think I'm missing a whole another set that looks something like this. There's two of them that are like this that I've used up. So this one is all orange and turquoise, and they work interchangeably. They work well together um, because they're all they were all kind of created together. So they're all kind of created with the same oranges and same turquoise and teals and um, color. So they, they that they all work together. Those all work together. Actually, this whole series I pretty much use the same colors. Just maybe sometimes I was more intense. Okay, so this one set is called Ancient Language Neutral, and this is not the order that they come in. Um, you get 12 more sheets here, and there these colors are more of your browns, your tans, some of your beiges. But there's still oranges. It's just orange and the tan, orange and the beige, orange and the the paints gray. And uh, <laughs> some of you guys will recognize this piece because this comes from the original that Jennifer McGuire purchased. Um, these have all sold out. Yeah, all of these are gone. My mom. This is one of my mom's favorite pieces. She has it as a. <laughs> scarf, a pillow, a, a blouse, uh, a purse. <laughs> she really liked that one. And I was like, well, you should have bought the original. I should have given her the original ones, but oh well. <laughs> she said, no, no, I want someone else to have it. Moms are sweet like that. Okay, and then there is, there is this one. And I know a lot of people asked for this one, and that is backgrounds. Did I do abstracts yet? Nope, I didn't do abstracts. Let's do the abstracts first. Then there's the abstracts. So the abstracts are a little different in that they're bold colors, but it's still your turquoise, it's still your orange. It's just I was using, um, I was doing less jelly printing and more um, direct paint, and I think I was using a translucent paint. So they're very vibrant and a lot of marks. And so as you see, you get 12 pages in this set. The only set that has more than 12 pages is the backgrounds page it has 14 pages I love that it looks dimensional like you can almost see the dimension on that one mm-hmm alrighty so that's the abstract set and I'm gonna put the abstract set aside because I'm gonna do kind of a Dina Wakely type tag with them. Okay, so here we have the backgrounds. I used a lot of the backgrounds in my project, but oh, the packet comes with 14. Everybody loves that one. And um, comes with 14 backgrounds. I feel like there's a mosquito or something in here. As you can see, look at that. <laughs> I've already kind of used this set, already used up most of this set. Got some scraps in here. We don't want anything to go to waste. <laughs> Again, the full set, if you're just curious and want to see the full set, it is on the Teachable site. Okay, so that's what we got. Now we're going to make a project, right? So we have a journal page. We have um, this big journal that you get. I got it from, I believe I got it from Hobby Lobby. It's kind of large. It's like a, probably a nine by by something. The pages are, are bigger than your eight and a half by ten. So maybe it's a nine by nine by ten. I don't know, but it's a nice size page. And I want to work with um, another poem. I have two, and I'm trying to figure out which one I should do right now. Should I do Phenomenal Woman or should I do Caged Bird by Maya Angelou? Um. I think we'll do because because I'm a woman phenomenally phenomenal woman we'll do that one okay so if you remember I or if you don't remember I have a video on my channel where I made a poem book and so we're gonna use poem a poem again and we're gonna make a journal page right big poem fan and so I have the poem Phenomenal Woman printed off, and then I have parts of it. I've got it printed off in different size fonts because I don't know until I actually create <laughs> how I want to use it. So we will just put, um, put 
right? And I'm just kind of prepping the pages. This is always the part that's um, Now normally, if I was just art drawing and not doing a demonstration, <laughs> um, I would set an intention about what I'm working on, right? And so, why don't we just do that? Why don't we treat this like a real art journal so you can see and experience the process with me, right? So, normally when I'm art journaling, I come to the page with something on my mind, right? And my objective is to spend some time um, creating. Oftentimes what happens, and I know I just didn't finish that thought, but oftentimes what happens is I start off engaging my mind. Like I set the intention, I kind of ask the question, what's going on? What are you thinking about? What do you want to work through? Right? So I'm intentional. And then there's a point where I'm no longer intentional. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll put it right here so you guys can see. Where I'm no longer intentional and I kind of just I let, because I get busy, my hands are busy, which it frees up my my heart and soul my to 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 process right because my mind and my hands are busy so now my in my soul my heart can can have the space if you will to process to to address what's going on right and I just want to say you know 2020 has been wow what a year right and <laughs> and we just lost and um Chadwick, um, who played Black Panther, that's what he's most, most known for, but he has played some amazing um, roles, and so he's known for, he has other roles beyond that, but that's pretty much what most people know him by. So my, 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 I'm kind of grieving, you know, definitely I'm trying to process that. I am also just processing, you know, He's about my age, right? And so I'm processing, wow, he, what a life, right? Like, he showed up. He showed up and he played full out. And I'm sure it was not without, you know, hardship and, and definitely hardship. He's fought the last four years, you know? <laughs> So, before I was processing this, so let me go how I came to this poem. This poem means a whole lot to me. <laughs> because when I was a little girl, I had this poem on my wall in my bathroom, and I got to read it just about every day. <laughs> just about every day, right? Like, yo, know, read about it every day. Um, and it's such a beautiful poem right and it just talks about you know knowing who you are and getting strength and gaining strength from self-awareness and and just being comfortable in who you are right I think I'm so <laughs> you don't you don't hear my head thinking. I think when I right so the so the poem reads if we dissect the poem right the dice I'm not gonna read it. Um, if I did a voiceover I would, but <laughs> for purposes right now I'm not. Um, but she answers the question, so she kind of puts this you know everybody's trying to figure out what is it about her, and then she says it's these things right. And so I think that's important. Who do you say right? Like in the spirit in the spirit of in the spirit of T'Challa, right? In the spirit of Black Panther, it's who do you say you are? Who do you answer, right? Like, it doesn't matter what they say. 
it's what you say, right? And so I'm going to just pull out the parts where she says, that's who I am, right? I'm just going to pull those parts out, right? I say, it's in the reach of my arms, right? And then she has this part where she says, I say, so I'm just going to pull out these I say parts and we're going to use them because they're, they're the window. They tell the whole story. I say, what do I say? It's not what others say. It's not even how others feel or think. It's, it's what I say. So we're going to pull these out and we're going to use those in our, and then let's see, she says, I say, I'm a woman. Phenomenally, phenomenally. Okay, this is, all right, this goes with this piece here. This is three. I definitely can't read it to you now because I've cut it all up. <laughs> Maybe when I do a, a, um, a speed up video, I'll read it. Because I've performed this poem in pageants. <laughs> and literally, I used to read it every day. So I, I'm pretty versed with this poem. And I put it up in Priscilla's room, just so you know. Okay, here, one more I say, and then we're done. <laughs> we're done with this part. And so now we have, we have, we have a, a title and we have a portion of the poem that we're going to highlight. Okay, that's always fun. Okay, so we have and because I will forget, I'm just gonna put a one, a two, because I have been known to um, get these out of order. Okay, so that's the order. That's the order. Alrighty. Now, am I going to keep it like that? Of course not. <laughs> of course not. But that's what we do. We set it all up. Alrighty. So, I have paint next to me. And I'm going to... I mean, with a title like Phenomenal Woman... Hmm. I have used... Everybody loves the orange turquoise set... What do I feel like? I'm okay with the orange turquoise set. I'm okay with that. So you guys can see us see us play with that set. So let me just let me just pull out some of these pieces. This literally is the part that takes all the time. All the time, all the time. Where did it go? Alright, so we're just gonna cut some pieces up. Do I have a plan? No. <laughs> Will it come together? Always. Do we want to do it linear or do you want to do it organic? I don't. Let's go organic. So that just means I have to rip it slow. Take your time, young man. Mama used to say, don't you rush to get older. Now, normally I would have my music going in here. But I'm also talking, and I don't want to necessarily have to do a voiceover if I don't have to. So, no music today. Which means you periodically might find that I just start singing. Sorry. That's what I do. Ask Pat. <laughs> or Jackie or Candace. They'll tell you, yep, she just starts singing. And it's not that I can sing. But it says that we should make a joyful noise. And so, joyful noise we make. Do I have a clue? Nope. Just tearing the pages. Just tearing the pages. Just, just tearing the pages. Tearing the pages and throwing them on the floor. 
if I ever get back to do 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 all righty i'm going to speed this up a little bit because i don't know what i'm going to do i don't but i don't want to sit here and cut these up all day i know that much so what's i going to do i'm going to use my cutter and um cheat a little bit really mm. tim is he supposed to do that <laughs> he's gonna say mm -hmm. it's a protection mm -hmm. okay. i hear you i hear you y'all feel like today. Hmm? I, don't know. I don't know if we want to go linear if we want to go we want to rip and shred I'm liking this piece right I'm liking this piece and uh, now this blue is definitely a little different than this blue right that blue is a little different but this orange and this blue go together and this blue go together. So I think, even though I like this bold piece, I don't want to limit myself to those pieces today. I want to use these oranges and blues. So we're gonna just pull some of these out, put all of those over there. I'm not, don't really know. So I'm gonna keep these handy, keep these handy. Put these aside. I know you're like, really, Rachel, you could have had these cut already. I could have, should have. But here we are. A couple of silver spoons, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hoping to find we two of a kind. Yeah, really, Rachel? Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. Okay. So one of the good things about the fact that they're digital downloads is uh, you could literally use this piece a thousand times, right? Mm -hmm. You really could use that piece a thousand times. You could just press, print that one page over a million times. Okay, ooh, that's nice. Well, not. I don't feel like in the fussy cutting. No fussy cutting today. No fussy cutting. Really, Rachel? Sometimes when I do the organic cut, I mess around and to get too much off. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying over here trying to try to work at lightning speed here. <laughs> Not a sensible speed. Lightning speed. Why? Because I need to go home. I need to go home and cook some dinner. Or at least pick up some dinner at this point because it's getting late. It's getting, it's getting, it's getting kind of late. This is so pretty. Hmm. Okay, so I think we have enough pieces to play with. What you think? And if we don't, we know where they are, right? Sounds good. Okay. I mean, because I don't want to cover the whole page. I have all these words. All right. So we got some, we got some scraps. We got some pieces to play with, and um, and we got big words to play with. We have a full poem, a full poem. I'm gonna keep this one handy just in case. I didn't use any of the backgrounds, which is I don't know why I didn't, but we didn't. Okay, so what we got here? Hmm, what y'all feeling like? Okay. Well, I think. We definitely want to draw attention to the I say. Right? We definitely want to call it out. So, so somehow we need to call it out. Right? Somehow call it out. Mm, we can call it out long ways. We can call it out. But we definitely want to call it out. Right? Anybody know? Yeah, four. 
one, two, three, four. definitely want to call it out. Right? It's different. See, it's different. Now what you don't see here on the on the IG camera is I placed them. That's all. Okay. And then here I mean, that's a simple collage, but it's actually pretty good. <laughs> like, really? Who does that? Who does that and it works out? I don't know. It's very simple, but it's actually kind of, kind of nice. Simple, nice. I mean, really? Hmm. I mean, we could do it, right? It's definitely different than I normally would do. But I kind of like it. What you think? I mean, we needed something fast. We got that. It's definitely kind of fast. I actually like it. I like the simplicity of it. What you think? Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. We're gonna put that in there like like that. We put that like this. So because this is so organic and this is not right here, we're just gonna tear this up. Make that uniform like. Okay, let's see if we got another little um, long piece that goes with this. I do, right here. Only because, I mean, I like it because it's not even. Eh, I like it because it's not even, actually. Well, let, me, let me do it like that. Eh, let's do it just like that. Okay, so here's the question. What we do? Are we doing anything in the background? Yes, of course, of course, yes. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Let's find a jelly plate, because when in doubt, we whip out the jelly plate. It's always our go-to. We need to save our, our words here. So I swear I have a I have a um I have a six foot table. Six foot table. And I never never ever have enough space ever <laughs> between okay so I'm using some here on my jelly plate I put down some buff and this is very orangey so we're gonna put down so I already have an orange and I already have a teal and I put down a buff to test it to go in the background because I don't want a flat page now, what I could do is I could just literally take that, but I don't like a flat color, so that's where I'm, I'm conflicted. I, I never, I don't like to normally just do one color, but I'm torn because whichever way I, whatever color I add in here is the way it's going to go. So, let's go with 
a little rusty car. You're like, what? Yeah. I mean, why shouldn't we just experiment, right? So we're going to put a couple of these little flakes of infusion. Now, I have learned the hard way. It's better to put it in here and then sprinkle it on than doing it the way we want to do it, which is direct. Okay, so what you can't see on the side here, because we've got a, mm, so much going on here, let me just scoot over so you can see what I did. So there's my jelly plate. I have some paint. I have some infusions that now need to be woke up. Let's put a little water. You're probably going, Rachel, are you about to jelly print with water? I am, because why not, right? So you see it. Ooh, look at that. Yes. You're probably going, no, Rachel, you have a puddle of goo. I do. And that's okay. We puddles of goo are actually okay. It's actually a thing. It's called puddles of goo. I probably have too much, but that's okay. We're just going to play it off. Like I meant to do that. I didn't. Just so you know. I did not mean to do that. So we'll just <laughs> save ourselves. Save yourself, boo. Break yourself. Ooh, it's actually not bad. I mean, if you're into that. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't have worked, though. It, it, it got too... Oh, my. It's pretty, though. Right? For another day. Pretty for another day. Just not today. <laughs> not today, boss lady. So let me tell you what I was thinking, right? I don't, I don't want to lose the vibrancy. Oh, goodness, that would have been perfect. But too late. It's too late to say goodbye. It's too late. Oh, look at that goo. Mm. That looks like, I'm not going to say what it looks like, but it's pretty gross. We're just going to, because that's what we do. That's what we do. Okay. There we go. We just, I'm cleaning up. I don't like. I don't like to waste. I don't like to waste. So let's go back to my page here. It's got some blues and some teals, and so I need something to ground my page. And what I was going to do was I was going to just use buff. And I'm thinking buff is too yellow. And that's why we're in a problem. Buff is too yellow. I need more of a... Uh, it's too yellow, Mama Sheeta. It's too yellow. It's too yellow. I wonder if her buff is less yellow. Hmm. All right, well, let me tell you what we're going to do. We're going to pull this up. We're going to use it. We're going to use it. Don't just relax. We're going to use it. We're going to put those over there on my Mac, and we're going to go old school. Chica, waka, waka, waka. Old school. You know what old school is? Old school is we're just going for it, right? And it is what it is, and it do what it do. Is it Rusty Car that I like, or is it Terracotta that I like? I don't know. I think it's Terracotta. I just put Rusty Car. On. Okay, so old school meant that I needed a credit card. Okay, I want you to know that that is amazing. <laughs> uh, I meant to do that. But I love it, nonetheless. Whether I meant to do it or not, it was a happy accident. I mean, seriously, who could have planned that? 
Not I. But we'll take it. I mean, that's just gorgeous. Does anybody remember what I did? I did uh, buff. Hear me tell you. So y'all can figure that out too. I did buff, terracotta, and rusty car. And that's what we got with the credit card. Boom! Shakalaka. Okay, you can't see it on Instagram. Here you go. Okay, so now I'm putting, I'm trying to tell you, this is going to be the easiest project ever. Because now we're going to glue, baby. We're gluing. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's all going to come together in the end, though. Sometimes the easiest projects. I'm doing a whole lot of talking. Normally, I'm not talking. Normally, you're not here. And so... That, that helps to hear it, just so you know, making sound effects. Normally, when I'm recording, if you're new to my channel, I, uh, I do voiceovers. So that way, when I'm actually working, I am processing for myself. But today, I am, it's all about you, baby. No, I just, um, I need to be efficient. And the only way I can be efficient today is to not do a voiceover. That is so pretty. Like, I couldn't have, I couldn't have done that myself. Okay. So let's, um, scoot this over. I could put the words down. I could. I could. Because... I'm a woman, phenomenally, phenomenal woman. Oh, boom shakalaka. Yeah. She got issues. Is that a song? That's a song. Baby, you got them too. Right, that's a song. I got issues. what we call an easy page easy page oh did you guys see that oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, oh yeah it happened i just put that right in the paint mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. we're gonna act like that we meant to do that only you saw that you gonna send me what they glue on the bottom of the table trifling never said I was full of grace. <coughs> never said I was a saint. Never. That's yeah, not something you'll ever hear me say. Because, girl, mm. oh, I am making a mess. Messes I am making. Mm. Okay, mental note. Y'all need to um, glue on clean surfaces. So I think somebody needs to invent, unless they already have, and I just don't know, a glue a glue surface majig. Do you know what I mean? So that you can glue and not get glue everywhere. All right, so if you want to know what glue I'm using, I'm using the Yoohoo stick favorite glue except for I love this thing too but I'm out and who wants to pay $13 okay so this side of the page is not complete but it is move onable that's a that's a term it is a term is move onable now we have to unify this page with that page so we're keeping our we're keeping our supplies handy and we're just going to scooch everything over as best we can so we can work on this side. Now, we gotta unify, which means we gotta try to do the same thing. Right, we gotta try to do the same thing over on this other page. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a photo. I can't take a photo. Yes, I can. That's why I have 8,000 gadgets. I've always tried to figure out why I had so many gadgets. It's for moments like this. When I need to take a photo, but I can't use my phone, 
because my phone is recording. So we're gonna take this little photo. Not that that's not that that's the way it has to be, but that's that's what we're gonna do. Okay. I like this page. Okay. So this is here. This is here. This is here like, and this is somehow like that. Okay. Now what do we do? Remember what we did? I don't either. So we put we put some lines, right? We went old school. Probably put too much. Okay. We used buff. We went old school. We put some <laughs> we put some sprinkles. Some sprinkles across the thing. We're gonna put some sprinkles back because we got too many sprinkles, okay? These are infusions by Paper Artsy. If you want to know do you need them, the answer is hands down yes. Paper Artsy, since I am um, your new poster child, I think you need to send me the rest of the collection. I'm just saying. We can have a kumbaya relationship. Okay, gotta get the old school. Mm, this one is way more orange <laughs> than the other side. Mm. But nonetheless, it's adorable. Adorable. So that's, oh, that's because I had too much terracotta. Hmm. I had too much terracotta. Hmm. Did y'all know that this credit card was, was a master painter? Mm -hmm. We're just going to put some over here so that it looks like they're the same. There we go. So I'm bringing it together. Come together. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Right now. Yeah, I know. Seriously. Okay. So the good thing about um, the credit card, it, it will help the paint dry fast. All righty. That's really cool. That's really cool. That's really cool. Okay, so I feel like I want to do something else. I do. Anybody else want to do something else? I'm just saying. You better speak up now. Say, <laughs> so Rachel, what are you doing? We were going to put these on here. We are. Relax. I get bored. And I want to do stuff. Ooh, I know. I know, I know. Ooh, I know, I know. No, I don't, but I'm going to play it off like I do. Okay, here we go. We're going to use this. I hope Tim knows it. I literally use his plate like a... I'm sure that's not how he wanted me to use it. But, <gasps> sorry. Okay, so I know I'm not really doing nothing, but in my mind, this is this is it. Mm -hmm. So, Rachel, you're not doing anything. I'm not. But in my mind... Oh, that's cute. So this paint, though, is not. Y'all want to try this one? Now we know this one is was too yellow, right? It was way yellow. I don't know. This may be the mess up. Let's do it over here where we know we're going to cover it up. That might be the move. That might have been the move right there, y'all. That was the move. So what did I, what did I, what was I attempting to do? I was attempting to throw back some of that pink because it was like mad orangey pinkish. So I'm throwing it back. Throw it back. <laughs> yeah, never mind. This is what happens when you have teenage kids. You learn songs about throwing it back. I'm going to blame it on them. I'm going to blame it on them. Like they the sole reason. Like I ain't have nothing to do with it. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's a pretty shape right there. So this stencil that I'm using is by Stencil Girl. And hold on. Did you know that stencils have a up and a down side? On Stencil Girl and on um, the Crafters Workshop, they print the number on the upside. Bet you didn't know that. Now why does that even matter? Well, 
technically you get a better stencil if you use the other side because the cuts of the fine pieces are designed to work the other way. And I say other way because I am right now working upside down. Now, most of the time I am jelly printing and it doesn't really matter. So that's why. Oh, shut up! Love it! Okay, so the number is... This one is 1213 and it's a stencil by, oh, I'm sorry, L213 and it's a stencil by um, P. Okay, so right there, it's wet. Only because I, and I'm impatient. I'm an impatient stenciler. So I just kind of stenciled off. Okay, I love it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it, feeling it. Okay, now the hard part. The hard part is we have to try to get this on here. The hard part. Anybody want to make this that thing for me? The glue, the glue and rebobber. Come on, Tim Holtz, make a glue thing here. I know, right? Say, I didn't say what? I go ahead and say, say what, Rachel? Yeah, I have an idea. I need you to. To design it for me like a like even if it could be like a plate but like a I don't know I should actually be quiet right I should be quiet I should keep my ideas to myself was this one yeah this is one okay what I'm trying to do is call it out right now I have even little squares okay and I think I have to put this one down right You know, I'm totally gonna mess this up. <laughs> I know it, you know it. It's okay though. We're all gonna we're gonna play mm, we're gonna play along. Like that's what I was supposed to do. I don't think that was it. Mm, I don't think so either. Oh, well. As long as we can read it, right? As long as we can read it. Mm, look at my dirty fingers! Dirty fingers, dirty. So this is why I um, collage with jeans on because I can just wipe them off of my hands. Don't worry, we're gonna work it all out. Okay, so this is four. So this is supposed to be like, like that, right? And then this one is gonna be like that. So what I'm attempting to do is use these color blocks to ground my words. That's what I was attempting to do. What you think? I don't think it looks like my picture. <laughs> don't think it looks like my picture. But I don't think it's bad. Whatever. <laughs> the point is <laughs> we made a page in our journal in I don't know. How long have we been recording? Anybody know? 45 minutes. It's not bad, considering we actually had to, we actually had to cut. I thought that was glued down already. I did. Now, you know me, you know I'm not done, because I'm gonna have to work this page so that it becomes unified. Okay, so really like this side. This side, I loved how that tan came out. Now, how can we unify this? Well, one way is we can bring the back to the front. What? Say more. Well, we can use this stencil bring kick the back to the front. Yes, right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. Now, I 
I just went over the words, which I was not supposed to do. But it's okay. I'm just gonna lighten it up like we meant to do that. Yes. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my feeling myself. I'm feeling my feeling my. I'm feeling my feeling myself. Mm, nice. Okay, okay, I see you. Alrighty, so if you guys know me, you know I am going to stamp. This stamp is a handcrafted stamp by none other than dun, 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 Sarah Matthews. Thank you, sweetie. So I use some stamps in here. Oops, make sure I stay away from the words, please. Stay away from the words. Do, 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 do. Stay away from the words. And I am using the stamp to unify both pages. So you don't know. What y'all think? Hmm? Okay. Now. Because, because this is a Rachel page, I got to get I'm just gonna put this. Ooh. So did anybody else order um anybody else order? Tim Holtz new color. It's officially been renamed from Campfire or Camp something Campfire to Rachel's Red. I'm just saying, for the record, that's what we're renaming it because it's like this color right here that I made. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna need some. I'm gonna need some rights on that one, Tim. I'm gonna need some some designer rights. I think you watched my secret formula or something. <laughs> no, we good, Tim. We good. I didn't get my box yet, but I know it's coming. I can't wait to play in it. Now, somebody would say, you know, you probably shouldn't have used that bold red and that neutral. But, you know, I like this color. <laughs> and because I like it, that means I'm going to use it. Right? I'm going to like the page. Now, I'm also, because this is now like what I do, I'm going to edge. Can't see, can you? Okay, come over here. Sorry. I'm going to just edge this up a little bit here so that the stark whiteness of my edges kind of goes away. And it looks like it's all a part of the, the page already. It's just my little finishing touch thing that I do. Back in the day, what we called it distressed edging. Yeah, I guess that's what I'm doing. But with red, <laughs> I call this color that you see me using Ray's Rest because it's a mixture. I mixed it out of Tim, not Tim, I mixed it using Seth's Honey in, I don't know what other color, but I was trying to make an orange. And this is the color I came up with. Most likely it's his honey and something else. I don't know. Because I love his honey. Okay, so I am done here. And I hope you enjoyed watching me make a journal page out of my collage papers. And you too will try to create a journal page of your own. Yay! Wasn't that fun? Okay, now you know what I'm going to do because I have some paint and I want to bring something on this page over on that page is I'm going to take this one and right here uh-huh right there where I have a big opening I'm going to take ooh, I'm going to take this one Perfect. Now the pages are go together. All right. Thank you guys for watching. 
Okay, I'll let you guys, I'll take some up close pictures and post them with them. Don't forget, check your email if you bought a bundle. Um, I would check, I would check tomorrow morning because it's getting late, but I'm going to try to send it out tonight. But if I don't send it out tonight, don't buy it until you see the email. If you already purchased a bundle from me, you should get an email that will have a code so that you get one of the, one of the packs free. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.